Hey everyone, Rolm here. Today we're going to play some more Project Zomboid. I just forgot that I have only for, like 30 FPS when I zoom out, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, um, I am pretty certain that the more player-made objects you have, the more it will lag. Which is a very nice thing to remember. Oh, I'm actually getting overheated. Um, at any rate, uh, today we're going to expand Fort Holm. First thing is first, I'm going to expand the armory. And then, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I make a little bit of a shed. I need some place to store all of my broken stuff. Because I actually keep all the broken stuff so I can repair it later if needed. Most of the time it's not needed, but still, just in case. As I said, I'm going to have to finish this, because this is kind of like a watchtower. Uh, that, or that's the plan at the very least. And afterwards, I'm going to have to build a couple of boxes down here. Followed by some moving all of the, all of the weaponry and such from here to here. And uh, it's going to be pretty... I think it's actually going to be pretty cool once it's done. And it's going to give, save, give me a lot of space in here, because I'm actually running out of space in the main house. So, let's just get this, wait, why can't I, oh right, I forgot to open up a box of nails, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to start building and, um, well, I'm not going to show you build it being built step by step because that will take a long time, or it's going to take a couple of hours probably to build all I want, but seeing as I have so much nails, it doesn't matter. Well, the, the watchtower slash armor is done. Next, <laughs> I got a little bit of a table up here and a chair, so you can, I don't know, have your morning cup of joe or something. Up here I'm going to have pistols, shotguns and rifles. Because rifles, the rifles, the, I know there's two kinds of rifles, but I am only going to have them over here because, well... They aren't exactly easy to find. I also probably have modifications there because, again, rifles are not easy to find. Ammunition in this corner, I am thinking. Then we go, then we go down here to the melee room. We would have all of the axes, all of the um, baseball bats, all of the random junk weapons and such here. At least that's the plan. So now I, now I have the armory, armory slash tower done. And it's like more or less in the middle of um, middle of my <laughs> quote-unquote camp. Next thing, I'm going to make myself a little bit of a house to um, have all the broken stuff. Because I actually have a lot of broken items here. Uh, just because I don't throw it out. Because I can still repair it if needed. And I think I've start. I'm close to filling an entire box of it. I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I might actually have the it on top of hair, because it's say quote unquote. Ah, oh, it started to rain again. Damn it! I'm going to have to wait a little bit until I finish this. Then I'm going to have to wait a little bit. Damn it! It just rained. Why is it that? I had a dry period of. It seemed like three days when in West Point, but now it's raining constantly. It's like, God dang it. <laughs> Alright, this is what I've been thinking about at the moment. I decided to not make the broken tools house, because, well, whatever. <laughs> and, and, yeah, I decided to make an apartment, basically. I know I can just expand up to other roofs or something in this area. Or just like expand hair or something. But I kind of want to build in a small space. Because I feel like I do better with less room to work with. Because that makes me actually have to think about saving space and such. Instead of just expanding it to being the size of a fucking city. I'll have to actually make it the size of a little encampment. Also, as this is going to be an apartments like thing. There's a window here. We have a nice bed, a little bit of a table, some shelves, some bookshelves. So everyone has a little bit of living space. You can have one guy, one friend over. 
I am going to put out lamps as well, sooner or later, because I have many. Many, 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 many of them. At the moment, I'm not going to do it because well, I don't need it at the moment. But, let's see. I have no more planks? Nope. I have to go out and get some more tree. Wood, I mean. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about just expanding into an apartments like area up there. And later on, maybe put something in this corner. Maybe another, like, a little bit of a tower. A scouting tower or something like that, maybe. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to think about it when I get to that point. Right now, I, ju I just want to get... Uh, at least I'm going to build a couple more apartments up there in the apartment building. And make the roof. And the roof is not going to be on fire, though, but still... Yeah, I think this is... It's probably going to look pretty well when it's done. Come on, hit it. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, Fort Holm is going to look pretty well when it's done. Uh, and uh, sooner or later, I might not even be able to call it Fort Holm. Maybe I'll have to call it Settlement Holm. No, actually, no. Old-timey forts used to be settlement-like things as well. If I don't remember incorrectly. So it could still be a Fort Holm. Because, well, forts used to actually have people living in it. So, yeah. It's uh, still going to have the name Fort Holm. Okay, I'm gonna run a little test. I hope this isn't like this. Come on. Please don't have me walk through the... Oh, fuck! It was just like that. Oh, God. I have to fix it now. My legs are broken. Oh! Oh, no, I didn't actually break my legs. Oh, that, that, that's actually rather nice. <laughs> A deep wound. I'm going to have to stitch it. Oh, I can actually uh, show you guys the stitching mechanic. Let's see. I need some thread and a medical needle. That should be over here. Oh crap, I don't actually think I have a suture needle here. Uh, whatever, I'm just going to go and fix it. Can I use a normal needle? Maybe. Sure. Let's see. A normal needle. Let's see. Can I stitch? I can, actually. I didn't think you could actually stitch with a normal needle. Huh. Oh, it w could actually seem like I don't actually need uh, bandages either. Ah. That's actually rather nice. I didn't think that would be like that. Okay. Let's just eat a potato. <laughs> Eat all the potato. <laughs> well done. Now I know I'll have to make a wall there. Which is kind of stupid because there was already a wall there. I mean, seriously, what the hell. <laughs> uh, anyways. I'm going to build a wall there and uh, make sure I don't fall down again. My god. Well there, I fixed it. Now I can't run through this wall. <laughs> I'm serious. This, uh, this, this, has been, this has been a problem for ages. You can walk through the walls on these buildings. And you can walk through the... Um, wait, let's see if I... There. You can walk through this roof. So if I walk here, it's like straight down to death. It's like, yeah, that's going to murder me. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. How far have we gotten? Yeah, almost done with uh, the second apartment. Almost. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, almost and almost. I'm almost done with the walls of the second apartment. I'm not done with anything else on the second apartment. Although I have made a staircase up to give myself an actual roof. And that's going to also be a second story of the apartment building. You might actually have seen it just a moment ago since... Um, uh, yeah, I'm not very good at hiding stuff. <laughs> this is going to be another apartment. It's like, yeah, they're really, really small. But in a zombie apocalypse, you don't have much choice now, do you? You either go small or, well, you don't have space. Because this, this place is big enough for you to live in. You won't, you won't be spending all your time in here because, well, it's a community. Uh, so, you know, it's a little space to... You know, be yourself, sleep, and do stuff like that. At the very least, there's space to, you know, just I don't know, lay around when you sleep, instead of having to watch your back all the time. 
since there is also a door uh, and a window so you can see the view and <laughs> yeah I know it's, oh this is like yeah so it's not the best for sure you could uh, easily expand more. I wanted to actually have wardrobe in there, but the uh, wardrobes aren't added in the game yet. Not for construct building purposes at the least. This place works as well as a little bit of a of an, uh, lookout. And I can't see any zombies at the moment. But in other words, I've actually done a good job at clearing the zombies in this neighborhood. So yeah, I'll, also up here is dangerous as fuck. I mean seriously, this is the same, it's, I think it's the same level as, um, let's see, yeah, it's the same levels as the roof uh, roof of the main house. If I fall off here, it's going to be instant death. It's not going to be, oh no, if I'm quick enough, I might be able to survive. Nope, it's going to be, if I fall off here, I'm dead. You can survive a three-story fall, or a fall from the third story. I've done it before for about five seconds, then I died. Then I made this character. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that, that was so fucking stupid. I fell straight down there and, and bled out. But I had, uh, like, a smidgen of health. If I had any potatoes with me, I would have survived. But it's like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I think this is it's probably going to be good once it's done. It's going to take a bit of work. And I have fences just so I don't fall off, since I like running around. Oh, I, I really hope they will allow for local, um, local co-op in this game, not just the normal multiplayer settings in the future. Because I know I won't do it right now, of course. But I hope that in the future they'll do it, so I can like invite a friend over to play on this save. That will actually make this. Uh, this little settlement survival camp like thing actually a settlement because there will actually be more than just me living here or maybe I'll, I'm just building this for um, when they add NPCs because once they add NPCs I could actually invite people to live here with me or something like that I don't know I, I don't know what they're planning on doing with NPCs so but yeah I think I think that this is it's starting to look pretty nice. It, it already looked pretty nice, but it's, look, it's starting to look like a somewhat resemblance of a settlement. Not just me making a giant ass fucking castle. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, a uh, tip for everyone always have supports under. A, it makes it look better because it looks like it doesn't defy physics. And B, once they actually, because I have heard they're going to do it, um, once they actually add weight to your building, if you don't have supports, you're fucked. <laughs> your entire fa building is just going to collapse in on itself. So it's like, yeah, it's you might as well just, I don't know, build, <laughs> build um, supports right now. It doesn't cost that much, and, well, you gain security. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I'm going to call it a day there, because, well, again, I have stuff to do. <laughs> uh, nah, I love playing this game. I really love, ex and I really, really love expanding my base here, and giving it kind of like stuff like this, and like tables here and there, and uh, it's fun. Uh, there's some things I'm wondering if I should do, but I'll I'll keep that for next time. And next time is going to be more building because well I have all the nails already, so why not? So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next video.